And then Brandon, you said you had a bit of a fear of the sea of water. Yes. What's going on there? I can't swim very well. I can do breaststroke. That's pretty good. And today I'm here with Brandon Tiller Fitness. We've just done a chest and triceps workout. I tried to keep up with him, didn't really work, and I feel pretty knackered now. But we're doing a Q&A session now, so we're going to get know a little bit more about Brandon. And if you want to know a little bit more, and well, obviously you do. And if you haven't checked out his channel, I mentioned it in the last video. But if you didn't in the last video, you must this video, or I'll come round to yours and make you do it. Ditto. And now we're going to move on with some questions. So I'm going to introduce myself. Please do. I will. So <laughs> what's going on guys, Brandon Tiller here. If you don't recognise my face, please come out and look at my YouTube channel. I don't... Oh really? We've lost the lights, move. <laughs> Hang do on. You, do you know, just to let you know, when I'm on camera, I forget to say things, so sorry. Yes, yeah, so do I. Wait, <laughs> that can go on, uh, that can be your intro. <laughs> well, hey. Right, we're back. <laughs> So I apologise for that, I've just... <laughs> I don't know what happened. We've obviously been trying to do this for so long that it just didn't happen. Somebody's watching. Anyway, um... There we go. Yeah, yeah Brandon Tiller, basically, um, I'm a YouTuber and also a student from... I say Brighton, but it's a village outside. I'm a biochemistry student in Southampton. And next year I'm going to be doing postgraduate dentistry. Um, 21 years old, currently weighing 83 kilograms, down from 96 kilograms in April. So I've been shredding hard. That'll be ending two weeks on the Monday before you see this video. I think that's how it's going to work out. Mm -hmm. And basically, what I'm trying to do on YouTube, I'm trying to be a little bit different, put my personality across there, and also engage the scientific side of everything, myths, training theories, and things like that. So I'm really into the old school physique. And during my offices, I'm really going to trip. We're really going to try and develop kind of the large V taper, cat delts, big vacuum, because uh, that is just the physique that I aspire to look like. You've got Arnold in the making over here. Yeah. And just before we start this QA, I'm going to put a few clips of Brandon's channel just up right. Give me a little bit of a taste of what his channel is like, so please go and check out by clicking the link in the description. And now to move on to some questions. So, are you ready for this? Ready. Question one. So why did you decide to start lifting and how long have you been lifting for? Right, um, there's never a definitive answer to this because I didn't, I didn't decide to start lifting on my 16th birthday, I was always massively into sport. I used to, um, around 16, I used to box, I used to play football before. I got one of the York barbell bench sets and a punch bag, yeah. which went straight into my garage. Um, and basically, I was just a chest and bicep addict back then. Just did oh, that, wow. and I kind of, as everyone did, I fell into it. Um, I started learning more, started lifting more, and I just fell in love with the progress. When I was about 17, I just went on an 18-month dirty bulk. Mm. Um, you can see that on my website. There's a whole story there. And from then on, I just became hooked and I love learning about things like this and, you know, it's nice to walk around and have someone recognise big arms. Well, I've clearly seen the results from your dirty bulk. Yeah. Felt a ton. <laughs> and then, what are your current PRs at the moment for the deadlift, squat and bench press? Current PRs are pathetic as I've been shredding, but okay, back so in we'll April, yeah, I tested PRs. all PRs. Mm -hmm. I put a 145 kilogram bench up, a 170 kilogram squat, and a 220 kilogram deadlift. Ooh. So getting, have you thought of powerlifting? And, um, or have you competed? Never. Never. You know to? Competing, I'd like to do the Mr. University competition, which has been running for a few years now. Yeah. Uh, you can see Craig Ritchie of Team Ritchie actually won it two years ago, I think. 
Um, he was definitely in it. I really want to do oh, that. I think I can, yeah, I know his channel. Really want to do that competition in April, and if I get the bug for it then, hopefully progress on and smash the body power. So, uh, so you're going to compete to that, but no powerlifting at all? Nothing, I'm afraid. The strength side of it is purely just fun. Oh, okay. I'm more for aesthetics rather than strength. Oh, okay. The vanity, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but who? I'd rather be big yeah. than lift big, so. So then you said about so you're competing Mr. University, you're the competing body power. Hopefully. Have you got any other future plans with maybe the channel? Future maybe, plans, um, I'd love to hit a thousand subs before Christmas, so if you guys can help me out, that'd be brilliant. That's a must. Onwards and upwards from there, I am doing online coaching at the moment, I do transformation packages, and I'm also currently in the progress of writing a complete guide to cutting based on my experiences, scientific theories, myth busting, that's going to be 40, 45 pages or so. So that should be completed in a couple of weeks time. I've been working tirelessly on that. Oh, Other than that, I've been trying to develop uh, a fitness apparel brand to run alongside the brand until a fitness kind of franchise. That would be called Acquire Aesthetics. And hopefully the pre-launch for that will be in December, just before Christmas. So you'll find a lot of information on that on my Instagram page. And at the moment, it's just full steam ahead trying to build myself as a brand yeah. and put my information and knowledge across to you guys. And just, just put as much help out as I can. So you heard what Brandon said about his Instagram. I'll put his Instagram link just here. Make sure you go and click, well, make sure you copy and paste that Instagram so you can go and check it out. Have you got any advice for people who might want to might want to start their own fitness YouTube channel but they don't want to because they're not big enough? Or... So we said, or I said when Albert asked me this before, I said for, first of all I need my YouTube channel to be big before I start giving advice. But what it comes with making a YouTube channel is the confidence to vlog and oh, yeah. film when you're surrounded by other people or people talking negatively about you. When I was 17 I tried to start a YouTube channel called Teen Jack Lifters. Which I wasn't big, I was I didn't have much knowledge and it was just a flop. I tried to film discreetly. Yeah. But now now that I've got more shape about me, a lot more knowledge, um, I'm just growing with confidence and you've really you've got to be confident about it. It yeah. took me a long time to vlog in front of people and promote my YouTube channel to people that are close to me or that I know, just fear of the fact that they're gonna ridicule me for it. Mm -hmm. But so far I've had no kind of bad press from my friends or my family, they've all been supportive because I've just been telling them that it's something constructive, it's something that I enjoy, um, that I enjoy doing and putting knowledge across, if you can help just one person, if you cheer them up or if they get enjoyment from watching your videos or knowledge that they didn't know and you help them change their physique then there's nothing more rewarding than something like that. You clearly have a good passion for it, so I'm sure you will be there, hopefully. A uh, couple more quick. Oh, no. oh yeah, what's your approach to nutrition? A second to last question. Yeah. Would you like cutting or? Um, so say. Should I say what I'm doing now? Yeah. What are you so, doing at the moment with your nutrition? Cutting. I'm a massive advocate of carb cycling. Not such a big fan of flexible dieting. More so, I like to eat clean, and then I like to put in bad foods when when I feel necessary. Yeah. Just purely because I like to. I'm so, I like to be sporty, I still play football, I like to be as healthy inside as I am outside. Mm -hmm. but there's nothing wrong with it if it's your macros at all. Yeah. So I've been using a carb cycling approach and basically I've been going on my biofeedback. I've been in a deficit for I think 12 or 14 weeks now and mm -hmm. it's all about just looking in the mirror and, th and thinking how you feel during the gym. You don't want to bullshit yourself. If you feel tired, then it may just be because you're having a bad day, but if you're, for a couple of days, if you've been low carbs and you feel really sluggish, then don't be afraid to refeed, and just approach your body as you kind of feel, and you'll, that's the way that I've long managed to lose 12 and a half kilograms in such a short amount of time. With regards to bulking, in two weeks time, I'll be reverse dieting as Albert is. I'll be adding in 100 calories every week or two, yeah. and the plan from there is just to try and Get small. You just gotta eat to grow, basically. It's cliche. Yeah. Eat That's to a big grow. Thing, actually, people yeah, are so massive. concerned about keeping abs all year round at the moment. You just gotta eat to grow. Yeah. So I've seen quite a few people at the moment with bulky yeah. abs, but yeah. they're looking huge. Yeah. That's just it, really, I think. And then Brandon, 
You said you had a bit of a fear of the scene of water. Yes. What's going on there? I can't swim very well. I can do breaststroke. That's pretty good. <laughs> Example of breaststroke just here. Yeah. I can do breaststroke <laughs> and uh, I can't do front crawl and I'm just, I'm petrified of the sea. When I told him he was pretty taken aback by it, he said, he said it's a good intro because we're on Brighton Beach. He said, "Why don't we jump in the sea?" And I was like, mm, "Yeah, good idea." <laughs> I'm kind of scared of the sea, <laughs> yeah. so it's, it's, a little, it's a little bit of a fear of the unknown. I don't like it when seaweed touches me. I don't like fish. And I... crisis in the camp. The memory card's gone. We have 25 seconds to get the outro. Thanks again for having for the brilliant Q and A and for the workout today. I can. It's been a pleasure. And then, oh, yeah, that was shocking. Sorry, I didn't know what to say there. 13 seconds to get an outro. Go check on. out his channel. Please go check out Brandon's channel. Link in the description. It's been a big workout. It's been a pleasure. We've actually run out of things to say, but anyway. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next we'll video. Be we'll be clapping again.